known to you. Whatever principality, whatever witch, whatever wizard, whatever obstacle to this miracle that I'm expecting to receive now, I'm not talking about tomorrow, now. Let that power, let that force, let that individual, let that agent, let them expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire. Every obstacle to my miracle, expire by fire. Every obstacle to my miracle, expire by fire. Every obstacle to my miracle, expire by fire. Every obstacle to my breakthrough, be consumed by fire. Every obstacle to my miracle, be consumed by fire. In Jesus' name, I proceed. Amen. In Jesus' name. By the word of prophecy, I prophesy upon your life. Amen. That whatever is holding your miracle, I release your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. I release your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. I release your miracle in Jesus' name. 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 I release your miracle to you now. I release your breakthrough. I release your breakthrough. I release your favor. I release your miracle. I release you now. I release you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive your miracle. Receive your breakthrough. It will be to you as, as we're praying. God says that there are some people who are giving up on their dreams, giving up on their visions, giving up on some projects because there's no help. And God says that I have given them those dreams for those dreams to manifest, for those dreams and visions to manifest. But the devil has succeeded in crippling them. They feel crippled. They feel without. They, they are without helpers. So they have given up on the dreams. But today your dreams and visions are being restored by fire. Restored by fire. Restored by fire. Restored by fire. Those dreams, those visions, those aspirations. Those business ideas and they respond on you by fire in the name of Jesus. Your dreams and visions will manifest in Jesus' name. Restoration of dreams and visions. Restoration of helpers. There were people who came into your life to help you. For some reason, the Lord, the devil scattered them from your life. Hey, life, everybody needs help. I say, everybody needs a helper. Everybody needs a helper. Say, you need a divine helper. I need a divine helper. If you don't get a divine helper, life is a struggle. A lonely journey, struggling all by yourself. And some of you, the devil has put you on the path of lonely journey, of struggle. Nobody's helping out. If any case, you are pouring yourself into everybody. But when it comes to you, nobody is there to help you. But today, your divine helper is locating you. From today, your divine helper is locating you. From today, your divine helper is coming to your life. Your divine helper is coming to your life. I prophesy your divine helper to locate you in Jesus' name. Life is all about divine helpers. One individual you will come into contact with you will change your life for good. When the Samaritan woman met Jesus, her life was turned out for good. Mm -hmm. Even Samson, with all his strength, he could not pull and bring down the pillars and the whole building, except a small lad boy helped him to the pillar. He needed a divine helper. Even the Bible says that everybody must carry their own cross. When Jesus Christ was going to carry the cross, he needed a helper. At the point, he couldn't take the cross anymore. So the Bible says that there was a black man called Simon who came to help him with the cross to go. You need a divine helper. Somebody with an idea, somebody to come in to help you, to help you go to where you need to go. One point of contact is all you need in life. One person to recommend you. One person to say, go to this place and tell them, I sent you. 
a divine helper to be on the other end for you to call them and say, you know what, I'm going to do everything. It's not normally done, but you know what, I'll do everything I can do to make sure you get it. If you don't get divine helpers, you get satanic agents on the other side, who you called, and I'm going to give you a hell of problems. And for that reason, your dreams are shattered. But when God puts a divine helper in store for you, they look at you and say, you know what, I just like you, I'm going to give you a job. You are not qualified, but you know what, you are going to work out face. If you don't have a divine helper, you are overqualified. You are underqualified. Yes. You are not qualified. Yes. How can somebody be overqualified? So you not take me. I'm, I'm too good. So take me. No, no, no. You are overqualified. Go away. <laughs> when you don't have any divine helper. But when you, you have divine helpers, there's somebody who tells you you are not qualified. But you know what? We will create a spot just for you. We will help you out. Amen. Because you are kind. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Let my divine helpers. The Bible talks about marriage as a help meet. The woman shall be a help meet. There is somebody who you should be a help meet to. You need God to connect you to that person. God is the greatest matchmaker. Father, whoever my husband is, my wife is, look at me. Whoever my husband is, God, look at me and bring him back to me in Jesus' name. Amen. That's how you pray. In the name of Jesus, I release your divine helpers into your life. Amen. May they come in to take you to the next level in your life in Jesus' name. Restoration. Say restoration. It is my season. It is my season. It is my appointed time. It is my moment. It is my set time to be favored of the Lord. And I'm being restored in the name of Jesus. I'm being restored in the name of Jesus. I'm being restored in Jesus' name. The word of the Lord, it will do you much good. I know what I'm talking about. Yes. I try to remember, I was trying to get to the Bahamas to for a conference. God said, This year you have to go to Bahamas. Okay, Bahamas, I'll go. But then I announced it, and then nobody is coming in, and lady who wanted to help out. I didn't know that in the Caribbean, things are much more expensive than even the US. That to the point that a little, I hear a little can of milk is for eight dollars. Everything is so expensive. Conference I do here for two thousand or one thousand five hundred. There's three thousand over. So the woman said, "You know what, Raki? I'm doing my best, but I can't find a, a place which is uh, the, the, the price is not too expensive." So she stopped looking for it or even talking about it. She will call me or test me about it because she came all the way from Bahamas to one of the conference to come for deliverance. And after that, God said, connect to her. Connect to her as a point of contact for Bahamas. And so she was working, and for some reason, because she wasn't breaking through, she gave up. And I felt in my spirit I heard. Now, this lady is not helping out. I don't know anybody in Bahamas. I've never been in Bahamas. You know, I don't even know where it is. So I gave up on the dream. So I told my wife, you know what? This Bahamas project, let's turn it into another state conference at the time. And she said, no, 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 no. Trust God. Pray to God. Don't give up. Sometimes in life, be careful who you are connected to or who you associate to. Because there are times you feel like giving up. And if you have the wrong person around you, they will help you give up. If you have the right person around you, they will tell you, no, you can't quit. You can't give up. God has a plan for you. Press on. Move on. You can do it. In life, be careful the choice, the friends, the choice of friends you make. Immediately, some of them, immediately every good thing is coming. The devil will plant them around you just to discourage you. Oh, I'm about to do this. Do you think you can really do it? Don't you know that uh, when this person did it, he didn't succeed, and you are going to do it? Who makes you think? And immediately you find one or two challenges. Didn't I tell you to give up on it? <laughs> they are pessimistic, pessimistic. A pessimistic person, whenever even they see opportunities, they see adversities in opportunities. A pessimist. 
even when an opportunity is open up to them, they see adversities. And for them, they will not step in. But somebody who is optimistic, even in the state of adversity, they see opportunities. Things are not going well. Things are hard. Things are difficult. But an opportunity. Somebody who is optimistic will tell you, I see an opportunity. Press in. Move on. Don't give up. Be encouraged. You will make it. And then you make it. Mm-hmm. I thought I was giving up on Bahamas. Mm-hmm. She said, No. Pray, pray, trust God. So I pray, trust God. What is help coming from? No help. So, but you know what? Just keeping on praying, keeping on fasting, restoration. Then one day a woman called from nowhere. Brother K, from nowhere. From no- Brother K, last time I heard you talk about you need me help with Bahamas. Did you find anybody? I said, No. You are my helper. You are, you are, you are. Oh, she picked it up and then they began to start working. Yeah. If divine helpers do not come in, you can't move from A to fulfill destiny at B. You need somebody. You need God to connect you to that somebody. First, your helpers must locate you and you must locate your helper. And when you are so bewitched, your helper can be around you and you can fail to know that this is my helper. Yes. When you are being watched by the devil, yes. you will even fight your helpers. Mm. There are some people who the devil almost caused them to miss their divine opportunities. Because the person who was their helper, they sat in a bus with a person and then when they were coming, they put, the person pushed them, who do you think you are? Can't you say And now they enter into the office only to realize that this is the, divine, the person going to interview them was the person they insulted when they were driving and the person crossed them. Fuck! You see the F word and now you go to the interview and now you are meeting the very person who you just had those interactions with. That is satanic manipulating you from always missing your divine helpers. Your people to help you, you always find yourself fighting them. But rather you are attracted to the negative forces. Who pretend to be your friends, mm-hmm. but they are doing there to sabotage anything good in your life. Mm-hmm. Every time you are about to fulfill destiny, they have a way of talking you out of it. They have a way of talking you out of it. But you call them friends, they are your enemies. In life, I said, know your enemies. Say, know your enemies. Know your enemies. And watch your friends. And watch your friends. Know your enemies. Know your enemies. And watch your friends. And watch your friends. Divine helpers, in this conference, in this restoration, the Lord is releasing your helpers to you in Jesus' name. Amen. There are projects, there are things you need to be done, and there are people that must help you to fulfill that. May those people come into your life. By Monday, you will meet them in Jesus' name. Amen. By Monday, you will meet them in Jesus' name. By Monday, you will meet them in Jesus' name. By Monday, you will meet them. You will come into contact with these individuals, influential individuals, influential individuals who are going to help you to be where you ought to be, who are going to direct you, who are going to help you and say, don't worry, with this situation, I'll help you out. And that will turn your destiny around. That will turn your destiny around. That will turn everything around you. Some of us can be working in a company and the kind of energy and talent we have and the kind of money we are making, if you can only meet your divine helper to just take you from that work, Hallelujah. to position you to another work and exert the same talent and energy, you'll be doubling, quadrupling your income just because you found a, a divine helper who located you and said, you know what, this thing you are doing, if you can come in here, your life will never be the same. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, if the devil succeeds in blocking you from divine helpers, the struggle continues. From today, in Jesus' name, your struggle is ended. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name.